Okay, well, go away if you want you to. Tell you tell me. You said you're stuck. I won't tell you. Okay. Okay, so Chris um, um, just disappeared. Um, I've had a bottle and one fourth. Half. Yeah, half, yeah. Myth. Um, I went to the Hannah Doll Brews exhibition. Did you say? Pronounced properly. Hannah Dabalvan. German, isn't it? Hannah Dabalvan. Barvan. You know what's really bad is that he's able to just say stuff and make it sound like he knows what he's saying. Like, that's so annoying. Hannah the what? Hannah Dabalvan. 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 Yes. Anyway, she does lots of drawings. She's dead now. She died in 2009. Unfortunately. I'm going to pause this for a couple of seconds so that you can hear me properly. Um, okay, so she does like these really obsessive drawings and it's all about time and analysing time and she used to, she started using the uh, the calendar and stuff. Um, I'll put a right through because I am not all here. <laughs> um, um, yeah, but they're all very obsessive and uh, and like everything is like individually framed and it's is very very interesting in its math rather than in what's actually being told in these drawings. Like in them, you would just assume that they're like old school work or something because of the paper that's used and everything like that. Um, and what's told within the writings itself. Um, all of her work was about timing, telling time, and all of that stuff. We weren't allowed to take photos. I've got a couple of photos, but I won't put them up because I have to get food. <laughs> I've delayed that bit. I will, I will, don't worry. Um, yeah, we weren't allowed to take photos, um, but basically they were like, in this one particular one, oh, 305 face, uh, drawings of of just like mathematics and stuff and it looked like it had been taken in school or whatever but they weren't they were just about time and what you would think of time at the point um it was really interesting and the fact that they were drawing they were obsessive i like my drawings and um yeah, just how they were framed and stuff, and that the fact that I've got to really consider how they are framed. I want my own pictures to be uh, framed very simply, like hers. Um, but it also makes me consider about the amount that should be drawn and whether I should go on top of my six, whether to do hundreds or what, like because they are taking so long. So I think that. She is very apparent. It was the last day of the exhibition. Didn't realise this until we went there. So that's very good. Oh no, she finishes in seven days time. That's a lie, sorry. But you get to see her work. You would see what I mean by the obsessiveness and this kind of compulsion to need to kind of allot time. And I think that that relates to my own work because of the obsession over perception and over how people work and stuff like that. Another idea which came from it was not drawings but from her music and that she played a load of music to do with time, which I found very interesting. And although I play music, I wouldn't want to write it because I, um, what I was thinking of doing was recording myself whilst I draw these drawings and to show people the amount of time that I spend over them. So I wanted to either spend these drawings doing it in real time or whether sped up time. Um, so those are the kind of things in which I'm looking in at the moment. So yeah, I'm probably going to speed it up has like a split screen, half sped up, so people whilst viewing it can watch it, and real time, in which people can see it during real time and the time that it's actually taking, because each drawing that I'm doing, unlike the ones in this exhibition, um, 
are taking four, five, four to five hours easily each. And I think that it should be acknowledged the amount of kind of obsessiveness that I spent over each drawing, even though all of the drawings look random and unthought out because otherwise I haven't produced that much work and I want it to be acknowledged. Uh, it's also just something interesting to look at um, on top of the drawings and the idea of perception, stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm also good, yeah, it should be quite good as to my paintings and stuff in which I'm doing. The only problem is, is that these two ideas are running perfectly parallel and they're not joining together so I really really need to pick one or the other and I think it's going towards more of the abstract kind of um these obsessive drawings kind of way which is a bit upsetting because I love craftsmanship and stuff like that which is what my essay is based on so yeah otherwise I think it's all good hopefully this isn't a load of mumble jumble but um yeah Enjoy yourself and um, have a good time. If you like it, comment. Love it, as Chris has told me to do. Um, yeah, so have fun. And um, thank you for everyone who has viewed it. And um, leave a comment or something if you like it or dislike it or, you know, whatever. Leave some sort of opinion. Um, yeah, so thank you again. And have a good day and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Bye.